Hi, it's English Cyclist. I was thinking about a new topic for the vlog and uh, I decided to talk about a long standing question that I care a lot, that is uh, disc brakes or uh, rim brakes. I have chosen and I will continue to choose uh, rim brakes for a number of reasons and uh, weight uh, is not uh, the first one. Before starting, make sure to subscribe the channel and uh, click on the bell icon. I will appreciate it. It's not hard for me to understand that uh, these brakes uh, have a better braking performance, but I don't like uh, to follow the tide and for sure I will not make happy the marketing managers. First point, as I already said in the GCN video, I'm not a provider and uh, I'm not paid to use disc brakes. Second point is that, uh, as you already know, I am the father of three children, so I don't like uh, to take uh, necessary risks, uh, especially in downhill. Third point is the rubbing, and uh, I know you already know what I'm talking about. The point is, what sense does it have having super performing hubs when too often you realize that your discs rub against the pads and accompanies your rides with that kind of noise? All you need is an Allen key set to travel safe around the world. Another point is that wheels with disc brakes are heavier, so even acceleration, deceleration will be affected. Furthermore, if you don't like uh, to ride fast, if you like just uh, to enjoy your ride, I think uh, rim brakes are more than enough. In the opposite way, if you ride very fast, if you ride to win, you have to brake as less as possible. Differently from the rim brakes, with these brakes, the stress that we have on the fork is not symmetrical. Having a stress on the fork so far from the anchor point gives much more stress to the entire structure. Weight is the obvious point. Surely I think in the next few years the weight of the disc brakes will also have improved, but they still remain a complicated system that needs qualified assistance. Last but not least, uh, rim brakes have a cool design, wheels are clean and uh, infinitely more elegant. Forks are more beautiful and perfectly symmetrical without uh, that kind of pimple on the left side. Nowadays I see that uh, main brands uh, like Specialized Track or Canyon offer only disc brakes uh, on their bike uh, at the top level. And uh, that's a pity because uh, if I have to choose uh, a road bike now, for sure I will choose uh, a BNC or a Jant because they, they are still offering rim brakes in a bike of a high level. The fact that uh, main brands offer only these brakes is an opportunity for uh, small companies or artisans or craftsmen. craftsmen because uh, they can find a new target uh, and uh, they can offer their products uh, for uh, rim brakes lovers. In terms of results, in 2018 rim brakes won the Paris-Roubaix with uh, Sagan and uh, the Liège-Baston-Liège with uh, Jungles, the Milano Sanremo with Nibali and the Giro Tour and Vuelta with Froome, Thomas and Yates. On 2018, Rim Brakes won the Tour of Flanders with Betiol and Liege Baston Liege with Fulsang and the Giro with Carapaz, the Tour with Bernal and the Weta with Roglic. At the end, in the last two years, the Rim Brakes won all the big tours. Honestly, I thought that I was the last romantic cyclist in love with the Rim Brakes. But uh, googling and searching on the web, I found a nice hashtag that is uh, Save the Rim Brakes. And I found more than one cyclist that prefers Rim Brakes. And uh, I put the video in the description. If you crash and you pile up with like 30 guys, I think there are gonna be some yeah, tough injuries because of the disc. On disc brakes in the Pro Peloton. Good or bad? Bad. 
For me personally, I think uh, I think it's the same for the other guys. We don't really feel it's necessary. Rim breaks. Rim breaks. Let me know whether you prefer rim breaks or disc breaks. I'm sure you will be polite and civil. Thank you for watching this video so far. I remind you to correct my errors. See you next time. Bye bye. This is my favorite panoramic view.